I thought it was really interesting to have people come from all over different parts of the country and with different pieces of the continuum. Some people had just skilled, some people had the full continuum of care. And to be able to share in terms of how, that's, how managed care is impacting them in their markets. I thought it was really interesting to hear the innovations some of them had. So was there anything in particular that you thought was more inter was um, particularly interesting, I guess, in the innovation? You know, I think that the people that have embraced the fact that managed care is the future, and um, Fred, for example, had some great examples of saying, we don't need to be victims here, we can create a solution, and the sooner we as an industry and as individual operating companies start taking solutions to the healthcare systems, to the managed care companies, to the government task forces that we all participate in, the sooner we get in front of that wave rather than constantly being in a position of reacting. Because we absolutely can own this and do something that's positive and still remain viable. Now, since you're from California, what do you think of the states, of the folks today who said that they are still in their states, like North Carolina and I think Virginia, where they're still in fee-for-service and they haven't seen managed care yet? You know, it's an interesting thing because if you just look at the boomer population coming in and all the statistics say that there's 10,000 people per day becoming eligible for Medicare, that means that most of the states in the country, half of the states in the country, that's the same as saying their entire population, every man, woman, and child in that state would retire or become eligible for Medicare a couple times a year. And when you look at it in that context, it's easy to say, I can't wait for somebody to come and tell me it's changing. So even if you're in a fee-for-service environment, there's absolutely no reason you can't get, get out in front of this and create a managed care solution that provides better outcomes and great savings. Get out in front of it. Don't wait for it to come to you. And in California, that's what we've already started to do. We started this process almost four years ago now. And again, one of the things people don't understand is even if you mentally have made that shift, it takes an enormous amount of time to get your partners to make that shift in terms of your primary vendors, your staff to make that shift. Um, it's a two or three year process. It's not a two or three month process. So you had mentioned that some of the innovations you had heard about, you had not seen a year, two years ago, and now you you're, you, I think you said you were surprised at, what you're, at how you're seeing the change in maybe attitude or perspective. Jim Gomez, who's the state um, CEO for the State Association CAF, and I've had this ongoing dialogue for literally since I came into the industry four years ago, because I've been beating that managed care drum since the start. It just makes sense. It makes sense for the country, it makes sense for the patient, it makes sense for everybody if you embrace it. And so it's a very interesting thing because it's been t two years ago when I had this kind of a presentation, you could hear crickets when people talked about managed care. And today, you heard solutions that were completely out of the box and in some ways had nothing to do with nursing homes. Mm -hmm. And there's been a clear line in the sand drawn between nursing homes and being part of a post-acute continuum. Sure. So that's a huge difference in 24 months. Right. 